Welcome to our live, minimally invasive outpatient uterine artery embolization to cure painful uterine fibroids. OBGYN Dr. Bruce McLucas, a graduate of Yale Medical School and an assistant professor of medicine at UCLA, is the pioneer of this now popular procedure in the U.S. Watch live as Dr. McLucas makes a small nick in the skin, finds the arteries that feed the fibroids, then injects them with tiny particles to cut off the blood supply so the fibroids begin to shrink immediately and the symptoms, the pain and heavy bleeding, immediately begin to disappear. Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce McLucas, and I'm welcoming you here today to the St. Vincent Medical Center in Los Angeles, where we're about to see a uterine artery embolization. This endovascular procedure is probably the most amazing breakthrough for the treatment of fibroids that's occurred in the last decade, if not the last century. Hundreds of thousands of women suffer from uterine fibroids. This elegant outpatient procedure allows us to put a very small incision in the groin and through that incision insert different shaped catheters, find the uterine artery, block the artery, and offer these women a permanent solution to their fibroid pain and suffering. So if you would, follow me and we'll see one of these cases live. Okay, let's get started with our procedure today. We have a little device here that's very handy. It's called the ultrasound, and, and you can actually see here on the screen the blood pulsing in that artery. So now we know exactly where we need to make our incision. Okay, we begin our procedure by making a very small nick in the skin. Now, this is actually smaller than a needle that we would use for drawing your blood. Now we're inserting a, a sheath, a small plastic sheath is going to uh, allow us to use it as a docking station so that we can uh, feed catheters right into the uterine artery supplying the fibroid. Well, we're going to start on this patient's uh, right side. You can see the uh, dye. It's your left hand side, but it's the patient's right side. Here we are injecting uh, dye uh, so that we can see. You can just see how very big that uh, fibroid is. We've reached a very important part of the case now. We're in the uh, uterine artery and we're going to uh, insert these particles, you can see them here, they're uh, very small, grains of sand in size. They're suspended in contrast so that I can see the particles as they go in. And we're going to inject them using very small little puffs uh, into the artery. Uh, we'll use enough until we block it. You can see the dye uh, with the particles beginning to block off the blood supply of this cantaloupe-sized fibroid tumor. All right, now we've completely blocked the uh, artery, the uterine artery with the particles, and you can see the uh, dye backing up into the area around the catheter, which means we've uh, completely blocked the artery. Okay, we've finished with the patient's right side. Now we're going to cross over into the patient's left side. And as you look at the screen, uh, it is your right side, but it's the patient's left side. Very large myoma. Okay, now we're inside the uh, uterine artery. We're injecting the same type of particles we used on the other side and we're beginning to uh, block the blood supply. And you can see the dye showing us a fibroid which has been uh, completely embolized. We've cut off the blood supply on the opposite side to the same fibroid. Now it will begin to shrink immediately. As you can see, there's absolutely no bleeding from the site, and that ends our case.
Our patient will have immediate relief from her fibroid symptoms, especially her heavy bleeding, after this procedure is finished. All done. Everything went great. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching our uh, live uterine artery embolization case. The case was very straightforward and our patient will be uh, back to work within five days compared to the six weeks of normal uh, post-surgery recovery. And I hope this has uh, raised a few questions for you. Many of the people watching this video are suffering from uh, fibroids. If we can help you, let us know. Ask your health care provider. The earlier you treat your fibroids, the more likely you're going to have a successful treatment. So thanks for joining us and uh, good luck and good health.